Cells at Work Second Season Episode 5. Wow, alright. For the first um first time in in this season, they tackled only one case. Okay? Saito Hines. Now, let me give you a little uh, a little background there. Bilang isang uh, uh, as a keto buff, right? Cytokines are uh, are dendritic cells' way of motivating other immune cells to do better, right? As what? Well, as portrayed in this episode. Okay. <laughs> and what a way for that cytokine cell to that cytokine that, that dendritic cell to motivate the other immune cells. Here's how cytokines work. Okay, so. They're produced. They are. They are produced. They are produced by dendritic cells. Cytokines are the main motivating chemicals for other immune cells. All right. At ang nagtrigger nito ay yung isang lactic acid bacterium, the good bacteria. Now, it is the. Uh, this is. This is the. This is probably the main reason why good bacteria are sought for these days, all right? Kaya malalakas din ang benta ng mga probiotic drink like It promotes what we call a cytokine storm. Now, we keto buffs are very familiar with this kasi yun ang habol namin when we uh when we fast or do the keto diet, all right? Because the foundation of our immune system is uh, is a clean and healthy digestive system, right? Kaya pinitro sa episode na to, kaya the, the, the flu virus, the the virus infected cells nagigot igot siya ganon to churn up a uh, a tornado, which ordinary cell calls a stomach ache. Hmm, yun nga nang yayari, okay? yun nga nang yayari. Kapag kulang ka, kapag kulang, kapag kulang ang digestive system mo sa mga ganitong klaseng chemicals or compounds. Yan, yan. So, that's how the cytokine storm works, right? Cytokines are the main motivators of most immune cells. If a dendritic cell gets activated, they release that. So, kumbaga lalong, lalong magtatrabaho ngayon ang immune system mo para buksain ang virus, ang mga kahit anong virus. Na, lalo na lang yung mga bagong strain. Alright? So, it's... This episode tells us why probiotics should be included in your diet. Yan. Alright? So, if you have a... Uh, if you get infected with such you know, a flu virus or even the... Let's just say COVID-19, okay? These good bacteria, these good bacteria can trigger a cytokine storm, which helps your immune system defeat these viruses. Tama ang episode na to. Alright? Again, cells at work is on point when it comes to the immune system. Overall, tinga mo na. Wag mo na tayo magmatali. Overall, it is a really good episode. Probably... The most educational one so far for season two, because it took an entire episode to, to well, to give at least to explain it in layman's terms, and to of course to illustrate it in and to illustrate it in anime terms, right? You base, you you base your plot, sorry, you your plot lalo na carry over pa from the last episode, Jan. This episode was on point when it comes when it came to side lines, okay? Particularly, how the cytokine storm starts. Okay? Yun ang tinatawag na cytokine storm. Yung, kumbaga, uh, good bacteria producing polysaccharides which trigger, which activate, which, which, which trigger uh, nearly all the immune cells to work even harder. Okay? That is, that is, I think, yeah, I think that's, that is what they call the cytokine storm. Yeah. Kaya sinabi ko noon sa last episode, it is related to the keto diet. That is what we are that is what we are that's what we keto buffs are uh, going for sometimes, the cytokine storm kasi talagang uh, we are doing our best to keep to to elevate our immune 
immune system. Kasi a good digestion results in a good immune system. Kaya ganun. Kaya kita nyo yung ang sentro ng labanan sa stomach area. Diyan nga nagsisimula yan eh. Alright? So, Sounds of Work second season episode 5. Two thumbs up and a big toe. And a big toe. Two thumbs up and a big toe. Well, do I need, do I need to explain further kung bakit? Right? It's another great episode from a from probably yeah from probably one of the most educational animes right now okay tatlo lang sila Cells at Work Cells at Work Code Black and Dr. Stone silang tatlo okay silang tatlo lang talaga ang pinaka educational na anime right now of course the mo- of course the one that uh, the one that set off this whole this whole educational value thing is Cells at Work right and we learned another valuable lesson on how cytokines work. Hmm? Kaya, more lesson dito. Always consider, all, always, uh, always include probiotics in your diet. No matter how fat or thin you are. Because, alam nyo, uh, fat or thin doesn't matter. If your digestion sucks, your immune system will suck as well. Tamay, tamay na gan. Right? If you eat the wrong food, well, your immune system will suffer. It's that simple. It's how, it's, it's what, it is what this episode is imparting. Basically, bottom line. Okay? So again, Cells at Work second season episode 5. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Now, uh, Next episode, Denise na mukhang, this is going to be another full episode. A full episode's worth of probably physiology and pathology for me. <laughs> Kaya, aabangan ko to. Cells at Work, Code Black, Episode 7. Tang, inang ganda ng episode na to. The producers have outdone themselves this time, okay? Not only will you learn a, uh, something about something about your own immune system when it gets sick or when you abuse it, but hey, uh, this probably uh, this episode is has probably the most val is probably the most valuable episode of this series. Coming by itself is not dangerous, eh? okay? It's not dangerous. Unless may RG din pa. It boosts, they boost each other's effects. Pero kung caffeine itself, caffeine is not, it's not exactly addictive. I know. I drink coffee. I drink coffee almost, uh, siguro before, before the, before I went keto. Siguro mga twice a day ako kung magkape. Tuloy-tuloy pa yun. Tuloy-tuloy. Siguro one to three. 3 cups per 3 cups per intake ako. Ganun ang katindi. It's not addictive, okay? I don't I don't uh, I don't look for coffee every time I every every time I need a drink. No. Nope. Pero coffee and arginine malakas ang effect yan. It can be addictive. Kaya ako iniiwasan ko na rin yung mga ano eh. Iniiwasan ko na yung mga energy drinks eh because nearly Nearly all energy drinks in the market right now, they are addictive. Matataas ang levels ng caffeine and arginine yan, as portrayed in this episode. Final episode, well, they, well, they've reconciled, well, they've, uh, they've patched things up. And um, along the way kasi, sa 1677, got mixed up with the wrong crowd. Sila, sila yung nagtu sila yung nagturo sa kanya nito eh Captain and Arjun sometimes you just need a boost from a friend sometimes you just need uh, basically that sometimes you just need friendship okay. which was the moral lesson of this episode kaya nakakatawa overall it is one hell of an episode Lighten Films okay, the, the animator of this Lighten Films 
over delivered on this one. Kasi hindi tayo natuto not just in the uh, in the in the health aspect but also in the personal development aspect. Okay? Being a personal development but myself medyo talagang tuwa ako kasi hindi lang hindi lang tayo hindi lang sa uh, kumaga we should not get we should not look to external things for personal highs. Nope. Sometimes all you need is a friend. Sometimes all you need is your best friend. Alright, that's what best friends are for. They're either your biggest fan or your biggest critic. Which are good. Right? Which are both good. Base, the flow, the plot, ang ganda! Malinis! Right on point when it comes to uh, when it comes to addiction and uh, and friendship. Yeah, it is right on point. Again, this this anime is right on point again. So, sells at work, Gold Black, episode seven. Two thumbs up and a big two. Two thumbs up and a big two. I just realized. Okay, that this that this anime has a Yu-Gi-Oh reference. All right? Ito malalaman ito ngayon pa lang malalaman mga ka-lifestyle. Twitch, kanina kanina niyo pa nalaman to. The one who is voicing Red Blood Cell 1677 is Ken. The voice of Jude Yugi sa Yu-Gi-Oh GX. Actually, that was it is his most iconic role. Okay, si Jude Yugi sa Yu-Gi-Oh! GX doon siya talaga sumikat as a voice actor si Ken he's been a he's been, he's been a famous he's been a famous singer way before that eh. way before GX okay but I never thought he'd, he'd be here in Cells at Work Code Black alright Yu-Gi-Oh! icon si Ken and he has uh, he's done uh, he's done a lot of anime songs since then eh. he also did the um He also did the ED to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. Okay? You wake up your heart. Yun. Siya yun. Siya yung kumakakantang yun. Siya yung kumakakantang yun. But, wow. Okay? <clears throat> kanina ko lang, kanina ko lang nabasa yung ano eh. Napansin yung end credits eh. Sabi ko, Teka, Ken? Ah! Puta! Sabi ko, Sabi ko, Puta ka na kaya pala parang, parang pamilyar yung boss ni 1677 eh. Kaya pala pamilyar. It's Ken. Oh my God, sabi ko. The voice of Jude Yugi is on Cells at Work called Black. Okay? So, that's the Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. Alright? If you want to meme the end credits, please do so. Bilugin nyo yung pangana ni Ken doon. So, spot the... Kung baga, ilagay nyo. Spot the Yu-Gi-Oh! reference. <laughs> Kasi binigyan ko na kayo ng tip. Alright? Now, All the more I should watch this anime because one of Yu-Gi-Oh, uh, the, the guy who voiced the main protagonist of Yu-Gi-Oh GX is here. Nalo ko tapa palo, nalo ko tapa tapa palo dito. You ah, Yu-Gi-Oh fans, do you agree with me? Do you agree with me, Yu-Gi-Oh fans? So again, South of Work Code Black, episode seven. Two thumbs up. Right, two thumbs up, Twitch. The next episode has been teasered. Mukhang, mukhang maganda rin to. Alright? Uh, I'll leave you with a clue. The body has been... The body hasn't slept for two days. Tingin nyo, anong sakit na makakuha nyo if you're, if you're deprived of sleep for two days. Wala mo na lang. Alright? Then, watch the next episode. Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 4. Galing. Nicely done. Kasi, well, Chrome gets captured. Okay. Uh, despite uh, winning Nikki over to their side. May ulterior motive itong si Ukyo, yung nakahuli sa kanya. Yung archer na matalas ang hearing. Hindi niya nilaglag si Chrome in front of Chukasa himself. What? 
is his ulterior motive. Nagtatanong nga rin si Chrome kung bakit. Now, final scene. Senko and company were able to create a steam engine. You know what that means. Ano na susunod doon? E di koche! Alright? They were successful in creating their very own steam engine. Talagang ano na eh. Overall, it's an awesome episode. Alright? Kung baga, yung... Science is not only playing... Science is not only the lead character here, but also politics. Pinupulitikan na rin si ang kampo ni Senko rito. Ni Nila Tsukasa. Alright? So, of course, yung ulterior motives ni Ukyo, kung bakit hindi niya nilaglag si Chrome. Why, did, why didn't he just told the truth? What's his motive? Uh, I don't really want to know. Right? So, the pace, the flow, and the plot All good. Okay? All came to a head nung testing na nila yung steam engine and um Chrome was stumped as to why Ukyo did not tell the whole truth in front of Chukasa. He did not tell the whole truth to Chukasa's face. Why? Simply why? Alright? So the plot thickens, literally. So, yung, yung flow, yeah, maganda. Okay, okay yung flow. Tsaka yung ano eh, uh, the pace, no, nope, hindi naman mabilis eh, kasi there were funny moments. Okay? There were funny moments to um, to stop the fast pace. Kailangan din yun eh, kasi, well, Doctor Stone is actually a wholesome anime. So, you need, you need, uh, you need comic relief here and there. You know, you need comic relief here and there. So, Dr. Stone, Stone Wars, Episode 4. Two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up. There's another reason why I gave it the two thumbs up. Um, yung, well, primarily the funny moments. Kasi, Nikki has her funny moments. At saka, ano eh, binigyan na rin niya ng heads up si Lasenko on um, kung sino-sino yung mga adipores ni Tsukasa. Ang number one on her list was Ukyo. Sinabi niya mismo, we should be careful of Ukyo. E yung pala, sonar operator pala nung araw to. So, nagtrabaho sa military. Nagtrabaho sa military talaga. No wonder he has that, uh, that acute sense of hearing due to his, due to his experience as a sonar operator. Siyempre, kailangan mo doon tenga. Tenga kailangan mo eh. Alright? He worked as a sonar operator on a submarine. So, talagang talagang mili, talagang may military background dito si Ukyo. Kaya sinabi ni Nikki na we should look out for Ukyo. Because aside from Chukasa, he is the most dangerous. Something to that effect. But, Nikki has a point. Nikki has a point. May, may hidden agenda itong si Ukyo. Alright? The hidden agenda and that part of the story of this episode, I like it. Okay, I really like it. So again, Doctor Stone, Stone Wars, episode four, two thumbs up, right? Two thumbs up to it. So next episode has been teased. Well, just it's just the title, so we have nothing to go for. Let's just watch the next episode. You know what, guys? The Stone Wars is heating up. Kung bagay tataling kung maga kung itatali yung episode na to, I would put it at a draw, alright? Kasi they won Nikki over to their side, pero nakatsur naman si Chrome, so it's a draw, it's a draw. Higurashi 2020 episode 18. It's kind of like uh, not much, uh, <laughs> not much creepiness, not much gore, but wow, parang 
parang nag full circle na story eh. Okay, nag, parang nag full circle na story. Because pa, diniklare nila that there is no curse. Okay. So, kumbaga, ina-affirm nila yung yung findings ng mga scientists that there is a disease called Hinamizawa Syndrome. Alright? Final scene. Um, Rika invi- Rika uh, invites Satoko to come shopping with her at sa Okinomiya. And out of the blue, she pulls a review book for St. Lucia Academy. There is no curse, right? So she can now do what she wants. Uh, basically, she can now do what she wants and she wants uh, Satoko to witness that. Probably, well, siguro at the back of her mind, the curse is still working. Overall, it's another mind-boggling episode. Alright? Kasi let's start ang episode na to with uh, uh, with with a near with a near uh, homicide. Alright? With a near homicide. Si, uh, si Hanyu is now part of the group. Yung yung kumakausap kay, kay Rika yung kumaga yung spirit guide ni Rika sa kabilang mundo alright which makes it more mind boggling paano siya napunta doon maybe inano na nila yung climax yung climax po na pinakita then they started the story kung hindi kayo sanay sa mga psychological or psychological animes like Higurashi, pako-confuse kayo. Alright? So, probably to the cultured anime fan, they would, they would get the point. They would get the point of this episode. They would get the point. But, it's a mind-boggling episode which is, well, which makes it good. Kasi, this is Higurashi. Alright? It's a psychological anime. So episodes like this are not uh, are not far-fetched to happen. Alright? So, Higurashi 2020 episode 18. Oh, tama pa lang. Oh, tama pa lang. Kasi, um, this has the pieces of a setup, of a, of a, of a good setup. Something big is going to happen in the later episodes. And this sets it up. Pero ang tanong ko, di ba nga tinutukan ni Sato ko ng baril si Rika sa last episode? What happens? What happens now? Okay, what happens now? That is a ma- that's a matter na hindi ni Resolve na hindi ni Resolve sa episode na to. Okay? That's why I just gave it the one thumb up. There was one matter na hindi ni Resolve sa episode na to. And that was the final scene of the last episode. Nakita nila, nakita nila naman yung yung nandilisik na mata ni Sato ko eh. Nung tinututukan niya, nagbaril si Rika nun eh. Alright? So, hindi na, hindi na Resolve sa episode na to. But, don't get me wrong guys. Don't get me wrong. I'm still hoping na ma-resolve yung, yung issue na yun. Right? Maybe the animators wanted to focus on this new mini arc. And leave the final scene of the last episode just like that. Just like episode 4. Kasi ginagano na ni... Ginagano na... Nangangati na bigla yung liig ni, ni Keiji nun, di ba? That ended the arc. Okay? That ended that arc. <sighs> pati ako, pati ako nakorta utak ko dun eh. And I, and I thought, I would, I would see, I, I would see some gore here, some, uh, some suggestiveness, some creepiness. Nope. But it, but it is a good setup. It is a good setup. 
for 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 this uh, for this mini arc. So again, Higurashi 2020 episode 18. What's up? The final scene is so compelling that we need to we need to watch the next episode. Because the moment, because the moment we can step out of Hinamisawa to enroll in Saint Lucia Academy, dun yata na simula ang curse nato eh. Alright, dun na simula ang curse nato. Now, with the three heads of the the, the the three family heads of Hinamisawa declaring na there's no such curse. And sinabi nila na Oyashiro Sama is now sleeping again. Alright, just they probably only said that just to appease the just to appease uh, the villagers, just the other the other citizens of Hinamisawa. Alright? So but in the back of their minds, the curse is still on. So we'll just have to find out in the next episode. The Promised Neverland second season, episode five. All right, six months later, na palato. All right, ever since the shelter, ever since the shelter got attacked, so they've been on the run for six months. Wow, either all of them are still accounted for. All right, final scene. Norman is still alive. Ang gulag ko eh. Alright? Ang ganda ng twist. Alright? Well, we now know that Norman is still alive. And, uh, he's been, he's been looking, he's been looking for Emma and the others for probably a year. Okay? It's, uh, yeah, we've been looking for them for a year. Okay? Overall, yup, it's a great episode. Alright? Considering the fact that one of the original protagonists is still alive and sought them out and finally showed himself. Right? Ganda yung ane. Uh, twist the final scene. I really like that. Someone who everyone thought was dead. Wow. Okay. He comes back from the grave. <laughs> and just in time, kasi mukong. Yeah, nasa alang ani sila eh, man. They were about to get uh they were about to get uh caught by two demons na naamoy talaga sila. Na talagang sure ganun ang lakas ng amoy. They were able to smell the, hum the, the human in them. So uh normal game just in the little time. Pero may mga kasama siya mga demon eh no. Mga kasama siya eh. So the base the the flow and the plot yung pace medyo ano eh um medyo tao dito binilisan na eh binilisan na gusto kasi it's been 6 months later alright this episode 5 is 6 months after episode 4 kumbaga if you, you would put that in a timeline sana nilagyan nila ng konting uh side story between those six months kahit isang episode lang diba? kahit isang episode lang how um, how did they end up on the run for six months yun yun ang yun ang uh, maganda to yun yun ang magandang build up leading to this episode where Norman found them alright Norman found them but considering it to be an ele just an 11 episode run Baka kami nadali. Baka kami nadali. I wouldn't say it ruined the um, ruined the final scene, pero it's... Um, kung ginan ito nila yung pace, tapos ganun ang final scene, okay lang eh. Okay lang eh, because one of the main protagonists, okay, from season one, who everyone thought was dead, kinain na ng mga demon, eto, buhay na buhay, right in front of their eyes, and who just, who just, uh, just rescued them from these two rogue demons. They were in a demon town, mind you. Okay? At itong dalawang demons na to, 
silang dalawa lang nakaamoy sa kanila. Silang talaga ang naka nakabisto sa mga disguises nila. Because they were scrounging for food eh. And they were either buying or scrounging for food and materials. Pero considering the fact that it's, it has been six months, they've been on the run for six months and well, um, the story didn't uh, deep dive into what happened during those six months. Parang kulang eh. Alright. So, The Promised Neverland, second season, episode 5. Mata ma. Alright. Like I said kanina, if they explored the six months that uh, these kids were on the run, it might have been a great build-up to this episode. Kumbaga, sana they did not... This, well, this, is probably, this is probably one of the reasons why fans would... This is my bold prediction. Huh? Fans would uh, consider... would probably consider Season 2 a... probably, okay? Probably a letdown because of this episode. Yung... Uh, the opening scene. Kasi, sinabi na it has been a year, pero, it has been a year since they escaped. Pero, they escaped from the shelter that was six months ago. So, what happened during those six months? Paano sila nakarating doon sa outskirts ng demon town na yun. Paano sila, how were they able to take refuge in that temple? Na, nakita niya naman, nakita niya naman, it's still active, pinupuntahan pa ng mga debotong demon. Cloverworks should have done more. Okay? In building up to this episode. Ang ganda sana eh. Buhay pa si Norman! But, it's still a good episode. Right? It's still a good episode. Don't get me wrong, guys. So again, The Promised Neverland, second season, episode 5. One thumb up. Well, we'll just have to wait for the next episode. No teasers. If you're... If you're a season anime fan like me, and if you're watching an anime as good as this, you would wait for the next episode. Jujutsu Kaisen episode 17. Bakbak ako mga tika bubarit! Wow! Did you see the fighting skill Maki has? Holy shit! Puta certified Amazoda to! Grabe! Sinang, sinang magkapatid na naglalaban. Okay? Mai was the one who retired Nobara, so... In retaliation, Maki retires Mai. <laughs> Pero galing ang hype technique niya, no? <clears throat> let's let's uh, forget the fact first that she's also a Jujutsu Sorcerer, si... si Maki. Farting skill pa lang. Wow! Grabe! And considering she has a... she has that long sword, yung spear na ganon, siguro any, any weapon she wields talagang magaling siya. She's... By the looks of it, she is an accomplished fighter. Okay? She's fighter first, sorcerer second. Parang ganun yung... Uh, ganun yung ini-impart ng episode. Wow. Right? Simply wow. Overall, the pace, the flow, and the plot, nicely done. Okay? Yung, ma- yung action sequences talagang vintage Jujutsu Kaisen. Alright? Kumbaga... Mapa has uh, talagang uh, what you call this? Mapa has been uh, has been known recently for CGI animes, okay? But Jujutsu Kaisen, kumaga, it's their uh, what you call this? So far, it's become their bread and butter. Kaya kita mo ganda. Now, story wise, <clears throat> galing. Okay? Shut up ako. <laughs> A few backstories have been uh, a few backstories have been told, pero told in such a way na hindi may interfere yung total fight sequence. As in, na enhance pa yung 
experience ng uh, yung experience ko as a viewer. Na enhance yung viewing experience ko of this of the of this fight se- of these fight sequences. Yung vast stories. All right? Although nobody nobody found it annoying. <laughs> found uh <coughs> found the witches found the witches back story annoying. So Nothing like that. Pero This is a perfect example that backstories uh, backstories serve as good backup for fight sequences. Talagang in-enhance niya ang viewing experience ko of the fight sequence. Right? It was, this, this episode was bottom line, this episode was superbly done. It was superbly done. Right? Although yung fight sequence hindi ka hindi ka sintindi ng ginawa ni Panda no sa last episode, no? Hindi ganun kalakas yung impact. Pero, all the same, it was, it was superbly done by Studio Mapa. So, Jujutsu Kaisen, episode 17. Two thumbs up. Alright? Two thumbs up. Here's another reason why, why I gave that rating. Kasi, it involves the, uh, it involves the female sorcerers eh. Yung mga babae naman to have two female jujutsu, jujutsu sorcerers go at it yung dalang magkapatid pa sila wow okay akala mo si, si Maki akala mo lalaki kong lumaban eh right it's always no para although blind side kumbaga blind side siya ni Mai dito eh although siya got blind side eh but wow okay nakilaw wow na ba ako sa nakilaw wow na ba ako sa review na to Pakilang wow na ako. Considering the fact that uh, it's 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 an all girls episode, basically, it's an all girls episode, and to have fight sequences such as this to be to be done between done between uh, female jujutsus, galing, alright, I'm galing talaga. Woo. I'm at a loss for words for this episode to tell you. Tell you frankly, I am thinking my words out. Right? I am actually devising the words to describe this episode. So again, Jujutsu Kaisen episode 17. Tama, episode 17. Tama. Tama. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. I'm rather intrigued at the teaser for the next episode. Bakit ganun ang title? No? And we're still, we are still in the, in the group battle eh. We're still in the group battle arc eh. Pero bakit, bakit ganun na tayo? But, we'll just have to watch it. Okay? We'll just have to wait for next week and watch it. No, not just next week. Sorry, this Friday pala. Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 35. Magkwela ng duel. <laughs> if, if that's not an OTK to you, I don't know what is. Alright? Yun, yun lang ang masasabi ko regarding her win. Overall, it's a... It's a good episode. It's a good episode. Yung pace niya, yung flow, tsaka yung... Yeah, the plot. Very, very interesting yung plot. Alright? Uh, the Machine Cavalry Duel Club is now doing everything para mabura sa kasaysayan ng Rush Duels. Even to the point of destroying Luga, Yuga's lab. Yung... Excuse me. Yung shock niya. Yun. Yung shed. Yung shed niya. Yun. They were trying to destroy that and... Um, Tiger and Company were, their, did their darkness to protect it. To duel, yeah. Impeccable pa rin. You know what? This is the main reason why I'm why uh, why I am a big fan of this franchise, right? Nakaya ng Yu-Gi-Oh player din ako eh. There's another fan service moment. Shield and Sword. The classic spell card has been featured again. Kasi, uh, I don't know. Parang vital siya for Rush duels eh, right? But nagiging nagiging vital na siya for any Rush duel deck eh, ang Shield and Sword. So yeah. It's a good episode. It's and it's not only because of the duel, but because of uh, uh, 
how the entire episode went on, and of course the final scene. Um, I too am intrigued as to what as to what this uh, what this secret tunnel is about. All right, because tinibrian nila finally natinibrian sila ni Neil. All right, so Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens episode thirty-five. Thumbs up, alright? Kasi, the duel. Okay, number one reason ko, the duel. Bilo mo, uh, it has a field spell wherein all monsters on the field lose 500 attack. Pero kung beast, pero kung beast, gain siya ng 400 death. Sounds like a, uh, wow, alright? Sounds like a real neat Sounds like a really neat spell card. Field spell pa yun. Right? And of course, how... How Tiger... How Tiger won... How Tiger won that duel. Right? Grabe. Reminds me a lot of the... Of, of how Yuma... Of how Yuma wins his duels. Alright? He would come from behind. And he would, he would slap you... He would slap you silly for the win. <laughs> he would slap you silly. Okay? Ah, super down, super down na siya sa light points. Then all of a sudden, boom! Ubus na ang light points mo, panalo pa siya. Ganon si Yuma Tsuko mo, ng, yung, yung main protag ng Yu-Gi-Oh! Sexal. That's how he wins duels. Tiger, Tiger's win reminded me of how, of how, of how Yuma wins his duels nung Sexal. Grabe. Fan service! And another reason, kung bakit, ah, uh, bakit binigyan ko ng two thumbs up? Well, the, uh, the progression of the story, right? While, while, habang, habang nangihirapan sila Yuga in uh, exposing the secret of the Machine Cavalry Duel Club, the rest of their, the rest of their community is helping out, alright? So, you know, the Journalism Club, the Archaeology Club, and the Wind Instruments Club, Tulong-tulong sila para protektahan yung kanyang laboratory. Right? Because, yeah. That particular, that laboratory was, is the birthplace of Rush Duels. Every, everyone who is, uh, every Rush Dueler could probably considers that as Holy Crown. And the Machine Cavalry Duel, the Machine Cavalry Duel Club has just desecrated it. So, they protected it with their own lives. Not, Especially the journalism club. Talagang hinirap nila yung, yung kalabang tangi. So they didn't care about uh, if, they're going to, if they're going to die or not. So, yeah. Alright. So again, Yu-Gi-Oh! 7's episode 35. Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up, Twitch. So next episode. Hmm. Matakapokus na naman sa isang alipones ni Gako to ah. interesting. Let's just watch it next week. King's Raid episode 19. Uh, final scene. They eventually find Pablo's cave and they got separated by a wall of ice. Then, Castle meets Pavel. <laughs> Overall, yeah, it's a it's a good episode. Okay, it's a good episode. You pace, uh, the flow, yeah, and the plot, all nice and slow. Okay, all nice and slow. Bahay, kasi meron na down sa kanila kasama, right? Meron na down sa kanila, and so well. <clears throat> your castle, would you pick up the pace? <laughs> I, I don't think so. You, you need to have an attack team because you're already in the final phase uh, of your journey. You're already there. So, you gotta have a healthy and intact team. Kaya <clears throat> minabuto na ni Castle na magpahinga na muna sila. And, well, uh, in the process, he started, uh, started to feel, feel sorry for, for 
free. Yun nga, venture out. Try to try to venture out on his own. Pinigilan lang sila, pinigilan lang siya nila Roy at Cleo. Although the pace and the flow are nice and slow kasi, well, it's understandable. But, hey, in the final scene, they eventually met Pavel. So, yeah, the episode ended up, uh, ended up really good. Ended up as a good one. In terms of, uh, plot, and of course, you know, yeah, of course, the plot, and of course, the final scene. It's a good episode, that's all. <laughs> we just beat this up. So, King's Raid episode 19. What's up? What's up? <clears throat> well, because uh, I couldn't give it the two thumbs up because there were no. Uh, focus. There were no uh, serious. Uh, serious se- the plot was not so serious. Serious to the point na there was a uh, there was a backstory to be learned. There was some politics involved. No, it's just a uh, it's just a re- regular reality check episode for me. But don't get me wrong, Maka likes that. Don't get me wrong, Twitch. It is a good episode. Okay, it is a good episode. Maybe kung um, if um, the reality check didn't happen, uh, I might I might have got I might have given it either a lower or a higher rating depending on uh, depending on depending on what happened, depending on what would happen. So, it's still a good episode, right? It deserves the one thumb up. So again. King's Raid episode 19. What the fuck? What the fuck? Teen is your next episode. And if you've seen, and if you've seen this episode, you will get a clear picture of what is going to happen in the next one. So, tutok na natin. Yashahime episode 18. Wow, okay. All three girls were schooled by Kirimaru. You know what I'm saying? Um. Siguro kung hindi na si Sashumaru, baka na matin it at no bili. Baka, baka pinatin na sina ni Kirimaru. Eh. If it weren't for Sashumaru's interference. Right? Interference, alright? Overall. Yeah. It's a really good episode. Number one, fan service. Okay, says Shumaro finally shows himself in this time. Okay, <laughs> nagpakita, nagpakita rin ng mokong alang-ala sa kanya mga anak. Umiro na rin siguro yung pagiging ama niya, yung pagiging ama niya rito sa episode na to. Although, well, just like in the Asha, he does is, he doesn't, he is not ready, he, he is not willing to admit it. Right? He is not willing to admit it. Pero, it would have been, um, siguro the pace, the flow, and uh, the plot, yung flow medyo may issue ako eh. The battle between Kirin Maru and Sashimaru should have, should have been taken, should have taken longer eh. Right? Um, okay lang kung mag-spill over sa, Okay lang kung spin over sa susunod na episode eh. I really want to see Kirin Maru and Sashumaru go at it eh. Kahit, mag, kahit magkasira-sira ang mundo. <laughs> Alright? Kahit magkasira-sira ang mundo. Talagang, wow. I felt sorry for the girls here. Alright? I felt sorry for the girls here. Talagang, they got schooled by Kirin Maru. They got schooled by Kirin Maru. Talagang hindi pa sila handa para para patayin yung gagong yun. Alright? They should remember. They should remember. They should they should put it into into their minds that Sashumaru takes Kirin Maru's orders as well. Dapat na dapat hindi siya naalala ni Leon. Alright? Killing Kirin Maru would also free their father from his uh, from his 
contract from his contract with Kirin Maroon. So, importante talaga na mapatay nila to si Kirin Maroon. Right? So, si Sumaru can now do, can do whatever the hell he wants. Even going back to killing Inuyasha again. It's a really good episode. It's a really good episode. So, Yashahime episode 18. Bottom up. Kasi, like I told you guys a while ago, I had a little problem with the... with how the battle between Sashomaru and Kirimaru went about. Parang, pitini. Okay? Pitini. Um, but there were... But, hey, there is a moment when... Uh, when one of the girls actually made Kirimaru bleed. Si Towa yun. Medyo nadali niya si Kirimaru, si Kirimaru sa isang move niya. Talagang dumugo. Dumugo mukha. Talagang nadali niya. Nataplisan niya rito si Kirimaru. Alright? So, yeah. That was the, that's the only complaint I have in this episode. The battle bit, they should have um, given longer airtime to the battle between Sashomaru and Kirimaru. They should have given that more airtime. Kasi ganda eh. Earth shattering eh. <laughs> Earth shattering eh. Alright? I really wanted to see, uh, I really wanted to see Kirin Maru and Sashomaru go at it eh. Nakita ko, uy! Magkakatao ko na! Mukhang maganda to! Sige, sige! Sige, magpatayan kayo! <laughs> Ganun na ako eh. Ganun na ako in the back of, the back of my head eh. Nagkumbago na na ako eh. But, Egos stop the duel. Stop that battle. So yeah, so far that's the only complaint I got in this episode. Kaya, yeah. but I couldn't give it. I couldn't give it a lower rating because the okay, the plot magande. The girls, the girls really got schooled by Kirin Maruki. Talagang kawawa. All right. Talagang um. May kinalagyan sila nung hinarap nung uh, nung hinarap nila si ano si Kirin Maru. Talaga may kinalagyan sila. So again. Yashahime episode 18. Matamak lang. Sorry Twitch, matamak. So next episode has been teasered mukhang Now, I'm not going to expect much from uh, I'm not, but I'm not going to base uh, my future review for it based on this, uh, based on what was teaser. Nope. So I still, I still have to be objective about it. All right. So let's just wait for it. Let's just wait for that episode. Titan Final Season Episode How about Episode? <laughs> 9 okay. Episode 9 Got a good backstory and Clearly explains How How uh, How Eren and the others got this kind of technology So much has happened In the last uh, In the last 3 years at least In the last 3 years Overall it's a good episode. Okay. Um, you can see it's a it's a, a really good aftermath episode. Kasi nakawis silang lahat except si Sasha. Okay, we all know uh, she got she got shot by Gabby. Okay. She although she wasn't killed in action, na talagang nangyari sa kanya random killing. Eh. Technically, it's a random killing. Oh, base what? The pace is uh, the pace is slow, but understandable. Because you have to consider the uh, uh, the consequences of Eren's actions. Yung yung mga officers na tumulong sa mga sa mga paradis, they're under house arrest. So they're also under house arrest. Okay. Kung maga, 
kumbaga preventive arrest yung ginawa sa kanila. Then, yung yung flow niya, okay lang. They were able to explain, I think they were able to explain the last three years um, in in one whole episode. Oh, yeah, it's okay lang. Tolerable. <laughs> at least toler- at least it's um uh, tolerable to some, but for me it's it's quite understandable. Okay. And the uh, the plot, yeah, carry over carried over from the last at least the last three episodes. Yung plot. Okay. I won't have uh, I got what well, I have a slight issue as to how the uh, the council the, the council uh, came to the decision that they should that the Marlians that helped them uh, helped them with all this technology and uh, these, advan- these advancements should be placed under under what you call this I, I can call it a preventive, preventive arrest forget nasa isa na rin si Zig Yeager Yeah, that's, uh, that's the only issue uh, I have with this episode. Hindi inexplain kung bakit inaaresto na rin yung mga Marlians na tumulong sa kanila three years ago. Okay? I don't know why they're getting arrested. So, Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 9. One thumb up. Okay? One thumb up. If it weren't for... Um, For that unresolved issue of the, yung, yung iner- when, when the council had the the uh, the volunteers, what they, what they what they call the volunteers arrested, uh, I wouldn't have any issues with that with this episode. Yun lang eh, yun lang. It's what it's what compelled me to to not give it the two thumbs up. Pero one one thumb up pare. I said well. You have to appreciate the um, what you call this. You have to appreciate Mapas uh, Mapas decision making when it comes to the storyline of Attack on Titan. They have, I think, they had to condense the last the, the last three years before final season in one episode. But nothing's for sure. They they may re- they may reveal some more events from. the last three years in future episodes. Pero, this is a good one. This is a good one. Kasi, ngayon, uh, we now know how uh, how Paradise acquired that. Paradise was able to upgrade its OTM technology. Yung mga, dati wala silang paril eh. Itak lang eh. Itak, espada. So, they now, they, they now have guns. They now have guns. Semi-automatic pistol tapos may rocket pa. mga ODM gear nila yung ginamit nila in episodes 5, um, 6, and 7 no wonder so again Attack on Titan Final Season Episode 9 one tama pero um, I think we're gonna have more uh, I think we're going to have more uh, more backstories the coming episode and that's that's what I'm that's how I interpreted the uh, the teaser for the for that uh, for that episode so well um, we just have to wait okay we just have to wait total teaser lang naman X-Arm episode 5 Why do I get wow? Why do why did I get those Yu-Gi-Oh rings feels in this episode? <laughs> well, because um, VR, the VR, uh, the VR, the VR nature of this episode it really really reminded me of Yu-Gi-Oh rings. All right, but looks like they were uh, looks like they faced a new enemy here. I, I don't know. I don't know. If she's an enemy. All right, because uh, she do a she's a. Um, She's an avatar of a supercomputer. Okay? And if you're up against a supercomputer, 
overall. It's a good episode. It's a good episode. The pace. Pace, yeah. Okay lang. The flow. Because mm, they're in a VR situation, so everything at the start is a bit foggy or sketchy. It's off. Everything's a bit off. Understand. Pero yung plot, yeah. I kind of like the plot for this ep- for this particular episode. Kasi, you have to realize, okay? you have to realize, uh, the setting is VR. Okay? Everything is confusing. Everything is off, like I said just a few seconds ago. So, X-Arm Episode 5, One thumb up lang. One thumb up. Well, here's why. Kasi, they did not push the envelope uh, farther enough. They did not push the envelope farther enough here. Pero, I like the uh, the minions, yung mga man-wolf na animang mata. Akala, akala, akala mo gagap. Eh. Tigatlong mata bawat side ng mukha. Eh. So, yeah. They did not push the envelope uh, they did not push the envelope um, uh, farther down the road a bit. Okay. Hindi nila, hindi nila tinuro ng konting-konti lang eh. To make it, um, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to make the action sequences more, uh, more enjoyable, okay, more enjoyable to watch. Kasi, para, katulang na sinabi ng isa nilang kasami, What's, what the hell is, what, what the hell is this video game character? Normally, uh, I would expect a an episode with a VR setting to be fast. Okay. Kasi VR yan eh. VR yung situation yun. But, um, yeah, there were uh, there were a little bit of inconsistencies when it came to to the pace. The pace of the episode and of course the uh, uh, the fact that the animators did not push the envelope a little a little further to to really drill it to, to really drill it inside my head that this is that this episode is happening all right that um the whole guy the whole squad is up against a supercomputer and who oh, well uh, I, I don't know if you've seen the episode but it's trying to control Akira it's trying to control Akira. Okay? It's like like uh, like it wants to keep him there in, in, in those in those memories of his. Parang trying to turn him to trying to put him into a catatonic state. Total utak na, total utak pe. Alright. So they could have pushed the envelope even even further by um, making the story a little bit more complicated. Baga biglang talagang ipapakita ng supercomputer na to yung yung kung gano'n siya kung gano'n siya kabilis, gano'n siya kalakas in terms of processing power uh, like uh, like siguro immediate change of environment parang gano'n to nakakala ni Akira it's to his liking pero, but actually it's the super it's the supercomputer's liking right more of the uh more of a uh, more of a techno conjuring, baga. the conjuring, uh, the conjuring CGI, the conjuring anime style, parang ganon. Pero techno, okay. cyberpunk, uh, yeah, the conjuring, cyberpunk style, parang ganon. They could have pushed it a little further, right? Ko ko di pa, para talagang mas enjoy yung watching experience. But anyway. It's still it's still a good episode and it deserves that and it deserves that rating of mine. So again, X Arm episode five. One thumb up. Okay, one thumb up. Well, the next episode has been teasered. We are going to see who the real enemy is. So we're gonna watch it. We're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna watch that. Cooking Master Boy Second Season Episode Five. 
Wow. Both chefs were so good, and well, Mother Nature intervened. The match was a tie. Pero, well, someone, someone, someone stuck her nose into someone else's business again, and well, the group gets separated. Final scene. Final scene. Well, someone, someone steps into their lives. Uh, Masa, he's the head of the Chrysanthemum Tower. Di ba pinasala muna ni Mao yun? <laughs> That's a mystery in itself. Basically, yeah. I can only remember the first half of this episode. I can only remember the first half of this episode. Kasi, yung tayo na yun, up to that point, then, napaghiwalay sila. And they, they were forced to, they were forced to, forced to go their separate ways muna. And, yeah, that was one whole episode. <laughs> that was exactly one whole episode in the original series. Overall, it's a good episode. Alright? Um, took me back to that time, but, honestly, I could not remember the outcome anymore. So, I was a bit surprised nung sinabi ni sinabi ni Jello na it's a tie. So the pace is there. The flow yeah, okay lang. But yung plot parang parang kulang eh. How did they end up how did they end up getting a horse? Then walking on a journey for three days. Then all of a sudden they need um, Meili meets this guy who says he's the head chef of the Chrysanthemum Tower, a restaurant that Mao temporarily closed. Kasi kanila yun eh. Sa, sa family, sa nani talaga ni Mao yun. So how was he able to open it? Ba? That, but that's the only inconsistency, uh, those are the only inconsistencies I saw in this episode. But, um, Overall, it's a good one. Okay, it's still a good one. Kumaga yung transition, yung flow, in the... They were, I think they tried to combine two episodes into one here. So... Yeah! Okay lang. Okay lang. Considering... Um, season 2 only has... Uh, probably has only 12 episodes. Yeah, they, it only has 12 episodes right now. It's, a, it's, it's just a 12 episode one, so... You have to condense it a bit. Alright? So, two Cooking Master Boys, second season, episode 5. On the map. On the map lang. Kasi, um, like I said a while ago, I was having issues with, um, with that gap, with that gap in the storyline we're in. Uh, they got lost in they got separated from from Jelu and uh, what you call it? Jelu in the end. What happened to Mao, Meili, and uh, Shiro during those three days that they were journeying? Yun ang gusto kong yun ang gusto kong malaman. Right? They could have concentrated on those three days muna before uh, focusing now on on the moments before the final scene. But it's just my suggestion. Because ganon kasi sa original series, ganon kasi sa original series. But they could have, they could have given us hints as to what happened to to Mao, Meili, and Shiro on that three-day odyssey of theirs. How were they able to get a horse for? How were they able to get a horse for uh, in the first place? Eh, paano na nakuha yung kabayong yun? Tagadala ng mga gamit nila. I got an issue with that. Okay? I got an issue with that. So again, True Cooking, ba- True Cooking Master Boy, second season, episode 5. Matama. Matama na. But, wag nyo. Right? The next episode has been teasered. Looks like this is going to be a more interesting one. Alright? I fully don't um, recall 
uh, scenes from scenes from that uh, what you call this some scenes like that from the original series so I really I really need to watch this I really need to watch this so let's watch it all right let's watch it then let's judge it The Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 5. Dummy Revelation. <laughs> Dummy Revelation. Wow. I, I've never seen an episode with more revelations than that. Alright. Final scene. Right? Final scene. Instead of letting go of the command of all the commandments he has assimilated, uh wait. Even goes far as far back as season three. Ayon ang bitawan ni Mael ang lahat ng commandments. He he even as he even took Derieri's commandment. Elizabeth just affirmed her her intentions of saving Meliodas, stopping the Holy War, and probably saving Mael. If you ask me, he's beyond saving. Eh, na adik na sa kapangyarihan eh. Overall. Okay, overall, yeah, it's an awesome episode. Okay, it's an awesome episode. The yung pace medyo well understood. Okay, understood. We have to um, what's called this? Well, this episode has that deep dive factor I've been talking about. So medyo ninam medyo ninam nam ko talaga yung yung uh, yung plot ng episode na to, right? But the pace, it's it's just enough for me to do that. Okay? Yung flow, yeah, kasi action sequence, grabe. Ganito pala kalakas si Mael. <laughs> so, the Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 5, two thumbs up. Right? I can also cite another reason was why uh, why I gave it the two thumbs up. Because nag nag ako eh as to whether one thumb up or two thumbs up. Eh. I was in between that. I was in between that by the time the final scene came around. So I thought, okay. The essence of this episode is well, Mael. Has gotten, has gotten the, now has the best of both worlds, okay, being uh, the most powerful archangel, and now he has probably five or six of the commandments that in, in, na in absorbed previously as Esther Rosa. So, ano to? He now has a well, obviously he now has that god complex running, running his brain, running his brain right now. Wow. Okay. For it, for an anime to to showcase to showcase a uh, a boss battle like this this early, this early in its run, you don't see that every day. <laughs> you don't see that every day, and it's the first time I saw that right here. The Seven Deadly Sins. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. So again, the Seven Deadly Sins Dragon's Judgment Episode 5. Two thumbs up. So, well, episode. The, ep the next episode's title has been teasered. Let's just watch it. I cannot wait as to what Elizabeth's going to do to my L. Alright? Because, mukong. Ano ne? Mukong na heal na niya si Derieri. So. Um. All Derriere has to do now is to rest. So, it's up to Elizabeth now. Log Horizon 3rd Season Episode 5 It's a lesson politicians should, should politicians these days should take from. Alright? On how to be a good sport and walk to to look to, to look on the bright side of things if they if they lose an election, right? Every guild master 
who's a member of the Roundtable Conference, cons uh, he, he, he considers a friend, even even Ainz. So it was a sign of uh, going away present. That was the final scene. And of course, uh, it was actually part of the final scene. Now, to, to cap it all off, yung boss ngayon ni Ainz, uh, well, he just said he had the pleasure of meeting the Genki of the East. Uh, the Geki of the East, who is Shiro. Right? Overall, <laughs> it's, a, it's a really nice episode. There's an obvious moral lesson to be learned on how, uh, well, it is a, it's a lesson so valuable even politicians should take notice. Winning isn't everything, okay? but so, the, so is losing. Okay? If you uh, always see uh, the loss as a loss, you, you'll never see, you will never see the good side of it. Okay? You will never see the good side of it. Like, uh, like what Ainz did. Okay? In-explain sa kanya ni, ni Isaac. Yung isang guild master. Yung member, isang, isang member din ng round table yun. To, well, in Isaac's personal view, they, Ainz is the real winner. Well, Ainz no longer has a guild because he's now under this, uh, under this prince's employ. I forgot his name. I forgot that guy's name. Okay? I forgot that guy's name. It's a sort of a happy ending, but uh, probably the uh, the end of a mini arc, right? It, 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 it actually felt like a, it actually felt like the end of a mini arc, right? So yeah, it was a really nice episode. It was a really nice episode. So, Log Horizon third season episode five. Quantum up. Why? They could have. Again, the animators could have pushed the envelope a little bit further by um, putting lines in the script where in uh, uh, what's called this, Eins is Eins sour grape a little bit, parang ganon, or uh, yeah, Shiro wasn't satisfied of the win, okay? their their election win. He wasn't satisfied at all. Kasi parang I think he felt that he that he was the real loser of this election, right? And uh, the way Isaac saw it, by then in impart na Ainz, Ainz is the real winner. So they could have pushed it a little bit further with, on the side of Ainz, right? Siguro dapat inon nila na medyo nag sour grape ng kahit konti lang si Ainz. Yon. I, that would make it a complete political episode. <laughs> Siyempre, hindi naman yung wawala ang mga, mga sore losers in, especially in politics. There are more sore losers in politics than in any other industry. Okay? I think 50 or 60% of politicians are sore losers. <laughs> okay? So, they really, they really need to watch this episode para... Uh, they could they could brush up on how to on how to lose gracefully in an election, right? So again, Log Horizon third season episode five. What about a um? Eins should have sour grape one thumb up. Inisir na ang susunod na episode. Let's just watch it. Bukang looks like the act. Here's my. Uh, Here's my, um, what you call this? Here's my impression of it. The action is about to pick up. Beastars second season, episode five. I never knew Louis had that in him. He would, um, would point a gun to his own adopted father just to make him sign that notice of withdrawal from from school from Cheriton Academy. Wow. That was the final scene. 
that was the final scene. But we now know what uh, what Legacy has been up to. Wow. He's turned into a white wolf. <laughs> you may we I I I may find it funny right now, but uh, there's a uh, there's a dark reason for it. There is a dark reason for it. But I'm not going to fill you in on the details. But I'm going to I'm going to just tell you to well, tell you to watch this episode if you don't believe me. Overall, it's a great episode. Okay? It's a great episode. Bakit? The pace, the plot, the flow, and the plot. They um. I couldn't tell the difference between the three. It's. The episode was so seamless. The episode was so seamless. Malinis yung pagkakagawa ng episode. I'm not saying, uh, I'm not saying animation-wise, but story-wise, of course. It's, well, it's another great episode from Beastars. This, this anime continues to amaze me. It continues to amaze me. When it comes to uh, uh, delivering delivering psychoanalysis, all right? Psychoanalysis B star style, all right? You, you would you, you would this you I would describe that as such. And um this is an all-time low for Louis. All right? I don't know why he's why he wants to um, why he wants to have his stepfather, his adopted father sign that notice of withdrawal. Yeah. Him walking out of Cheriton, him walking out of Cheriton is uh, is notice of withdrawal enough, right? Kung ano sa kung ano na sa kung ano sa situation niya, I don't, I wouldn't have anybody sign that. I'll just walk out of school and um uh, and enter the underworld unnoticed. Why attract this kind of attention to him? Why would Louis attract this kind of attention in the first place? That we still don't know. It's one of the reasons why it's a great episode. Okay, it's a reason. It's uh, it's the number. It's my number one reason for why this, why episode five was a great one. Okay, so again, oh, I haven't given my, uh, I haven't given my rating. Sorry. <laughs> See, ah. I am so dumbfounded by, uh, uh, I am so, uh, what you call this, amazed by this episode, I forgot what part of the review is. <laughs> so, Beastars second season episode 5, two thumbs up, alright, two thumbs up. So, well, I repeat, two thumbs up, okay? So. Well, nothing. Only well, only B stars and the Promised Neverland never never teaser anything uh, in my review roster. These are the only two enemies that never tease that never give anything away as teasers. So they're both green enemies. So they deserve the, they deserve to they deserve your attention for the next episode. 